Hello, today we're going to be talking about the selection pane in Power BI. Um, and you might be wondering, well, what is that? Well, it's what allows you to both hide and show visuals, which is very important when you are looking to do something um, requiring bookmarks, so some kind of interactivity. We haven't covered bookmarks yet. That'll be in the next video coming up. But I wanted to make this short, shorter, smaller video focusing in on the selection pane. So the selection pane is this icon right here. If you don't have that icon, you can enable it by clicking this customize and then turning on the selection pane. The selection pane allows you to change where images or visuals are in the order, so either the front or in back, and then change their visibility as well as group them. So the analogy that I like to use when I'm teaching people is typically you remember like when you were in high school or something and you were trying to create a like a Word document and you, you couldn't get the images in front of the text and you're trying to layer them on top. That's basically Power BI visuals. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert an area chart. I'm going to insert this map. Um, it's an ArcGIS map. So actually, I just insert that one. So here's my here's my ArcGIS. So I'll control click and I'll insert here and I'll control click. I'll insert here or double click. I'll click off of this and here. All right. So here we are. We have three visuals. As you notice, if I move these around, this visual is on top of this visual which is on top of this visual. So when they're no, not selected, they kind of stack on top of each other. Using the selection pane, we can change that. So here we have our card visual, and I can send it back to the very bottom layer. I can also bring my ArcGIS visual all the way up. Okay. I can also control the visibility of this. So I can go ahead and I can hide this visual, and I can show this visual. And I can do that for every single one of these. All right, so let's just review quickly what we covered here. So the visuals are layers, and in the selection pane, you can change the ordering of that layer so you can bring them forward or backwards. You can also hide or show visuals. So far, you with me? All right. So the other thing that you can do in the selection pane is you can rename these visuals. So maybe I have like six gauge graphs on my, my chart. How do I know which one's which? Well, what I can go ahead and do is I can name this gauge um, special, right? And now I have gauge special. And then I can rename this one arc GIS, right? Super. And I can rename this card interactive card, right? And now I have the gauge, arc GIS, and interactive. Okay, so I've now named these more specific things. Finally, if I then highlight all of them, right, I can edit their properties so I can make sure they're all the same size and width. So in this case, they are. And then I can right click on them and I can go group. And just like that, I have a group. So I can now control their visibility and their name as a group. So look, this whole group's gone, this whole group's invisible. I can then also change the formatting of this group. I can change the background of this group. So maybe I want the background of this group to be red. Look, now we have a red group, right? I can also then go through and I can rename the group. So I can rename it group one, two, three. So that is the selection pane. And let's just kind of review the, the key highlights that we covered in this video that it can do. So first of all, you can change the ordering of visuals. Second of all, you can uh, rename the visuals. Third of all, you can group the visuals. You can then uh, rename the grouped individuals. You can then show the visit, change the visibility of the group. And then you can also finally edit the size and some, some basic formatting properties of the visuals in mass by selecting them all or of the group by selecting the group. That's been a quick overview of the selection pane in Power BI. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about Power BI, 
please subscribe. We're currently releasing daily videos on how to use the tool, and they're building on top of each other. I think we're on video 35 now. So there's a lot of content there, and we'd be happy to have you along. Thanks for watching.